in Don't Be Cheeky News, submitted to by, to, submitted by, to infinity and beyond. Please be about butts, please be about butts. It's, oh it is, uh, an Australian theme park got accused of sexism after banning cheeky bikini bottoms. Mm. I mean, cause everyone's wearing thongs now. Why? I know, they really are. They got nice butts. When, when we were in show Hawaii, off. oh no, I show my butt off. At the pool area in our hotel, yes, yeah. there was this Australian family and both kids were just butt naked. Wow. It's a guy, one one's a girl. Why are we so afraid of nudity? I thought it was cool. Wait, he had his dangler out? His dangler oh, was boy, out. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was cool. He was like three or four. And they're, they're just oh, playing around. Funny. I thought it was cool. I'm like, what's wrong with that? I don't like this. I think we should be able to show as much of our butt as we can. Normalize it. Butts are, everyone's got a butt. Butts are, sh should not be that sexual. It's like, you got And poop comes out of it. Yeah. So like, it's just why a butt. Are you jerking off to butt? Guys will make everything sexual. <laughs> right, like a fucking fire hydrant. While there's caca coming out, they'll probably Ew. still jerk off to that. I mean, two girls, one cup. Got that should tell you everything. There, right? Yeah. So anyway, this, uh, this place called- Guys will pay to get crapped on. Yeah. Think about that. Donald Trump? Oh, really? Oh, peed. Oh. That's a little different. <laughs> so the, only this little, only this little difference. Just this much room difference. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> so this place called Adventure World in Perth, Australia, they Australia. posted on Facebook this image. Oh, well, they posted an image and they captioned it. Adventure World is a family-friendly park. Please choose appropriate swimwear when visiting. It says, what? don't be cheeky. And it says, don't do these, do these. That's dumb. I like okay, that. It's so pretty cheeky. Right is not, like, the one on the bottom right, how is that more no, cheeky? These are oh, good. Okay, okay. These, these are, are good. Bad. One's the best. These are bad. They're these are hot. hot to me. I like the top uh -huh. one's the best. Right? There, so there's no difference to me. You're offended by the upper buttocks? Just upper this upper skin. cheek? The upper the lower fat. lower cheek, totally fine. Yeah, but the I'm upper so cheek, oh, that's naughty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, all four of them, all four of them make me horny, so. Clearly it's the crack that they have a problem yeah, with. Yeah, it like, looks like it's the crack. They can't avoid it, but you don't know. Don't be too cracky. But to me, like when I put on that bottom left one, it ends up being like the top left one. <laughs> 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 yeah, some people just have bigger butts. That's not fair. It's not our fault that I they don't make size. So the bigger the butt, the smaller the bikini. Is that the rule? I even buy a completely different size for the bottom just to yeah. make, sh just to try to cover it. Nikki more. buys the bottom right. I buy one. a large and bottom and a small one. top. But also, I guess their whole thing is they're saying it's a family-friendly thing, so they're worried about little kids seeing butt skin. Again, but little boy. kids are naked anyway. They don't even so register it as sexual, though. They're and they're not even look. They don't even care. Perth is like a they pretty progressive. It's funny. It's like I saw her butt. When, uh, when I'm changing in front of Taika, he goes, "Ew, pee pee, ew," and I'm like, "Stop! You're making me uncomfortable." He says, "You have a dick." No, pee pee. What? Like he knows that that's where like pee comes from. So oh, I thought he was um, saying pee pee. Yeah, I thought yeah, he was saying you have a dick. Oh. I was like, wow, he's mean. Are you kick me in the pee pee. Oh, yeah. So there are a lot of comments Imagine about that. this. And one said, and this is why sexism still exists. And then another one says, those men better cover their nipples too. Won't somebody think of the children? That used to be a law. Another one said, huh? yeah, in America, those, those uh, bathing yeah, suits with the suspenders. Yeah. You see guys with <laughs> like no nipples tie? showing in the 1920s. And We're going backwards. Yeah. yeah, so then another one said, bum cheeks will scar your kids. Stupidest thing I've ever seen. But, oh, and then uh, another but. one. No. <laughs> <laughs> another one says, thanks for policing women's bodies, Adventure World. Now, where's the men's version? True. And then. Exactly, are people. men allowed to wear Speedos? Right. Right. You can see more than that. Yeah. I got see. nightmares about both. Same. That I've like seen. And then like the sea urchin coming out of the side. I think, I think guys is the opposite. You want to cover them up as much as you can. Yeah, dicks are ugly. Yeah. Well, tell them to tell that to the fucking speedo wearing guys. They're happy. They're weird. What if a bunch of guys come in with a Borat bikini? <laughs> oh, God. You know what I would do? I would come in with the, like, the full bottoms and then just like nipple covers. <laughs> Stickers. Don't say anything about that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so other people said, glad to see something still, glad to see something still standing for modesty and appropriateness. Old, Another you're one old, said, you're gonna die soon. I support this Adventure World official page. People have no manners these days. Cover up and have some respect for yourselves and consideration for the other people who are also enjoying the park. 
And another one says, well done, Adventure World. I think this is a great move. These are all religious old people. Right, it's like projection because they feel shame and guilt for their own bodies and stuff. Because these old fat ladies raised. can't wear that song. And they think that your body should be preserved for God and your husband. Because secretly they uh, fantasize about being gang bangs. I don't know. I like this whole like I have the right to hoochie movement because I'm just sitting here like enjoying the view. That's the thing is it's a personal choice. Like I know as a woman, I don't know if you guys do too, but like I know when I wear stuff like that that like unfortunately I have to deal with what comes with that. The attention right. or whatever. Yeah, or just like the gawking or like the automatic. Assignment. Yeah, that's what I don't understand is when a girl is wearing like a straight you know, tooth floss, and she's like, oh my God, stop staring. Yeah. It's like, but shouldn't we be comfortable in our bodies and feel like we can show it off without the fear of a guy jerking off in the corner? I'll answer that, but first they have to subscribe because yeah, I want to make sure to that they stay tuned for this answer. And if they don't subscribe, then I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to tell you what, you know what turns me on? Fucking abs and like that V. When I see that on a guy, I'm like, mm, I like A lot that. of ladies like and that. And they be showing that shit all the time at Adventure Park World. And it makes it's you like, too horny. Yeah, and it's like, what if butts are my thing? You know what I like? A oh, really funny, up. dark humored, sarcastic guy. And in comedy clubs, they're showing that off all the time. And it's like, <laughs> I am married. Stop it. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, so Adventure World had a statement and said, let's, talk to, let's not confuse the issue. This update is about dress standards and dress standards only. It is not gender specific. Adventure oh. World is a family friendly theme park. <laughs> we keep informed of industry trends and whilst this was not a decision taken lightly, it is in line with other parks nationwide. What guy is wearing a motherfucking thong? Mm -hmm. European guys? Yeah, they do. I didn't even know that Australia made yeah, uh, swimsuits guys. like the ones at the bottom. <laughs> right? No, because like all the like uh, surf capitals of the wo world, like Hawaii, Australia, they all their bikinis they even- They probably invented that Yeah, style. even like five-year-olds, their butt cheeks are just popping right. out. Dude, that's just the style. Europeans. Naked. Am I right, Europeans? <laughs> Nudist yeah, because right? I mean, I think it's like when you watch, um, what do you call it, like those National Geographic documentaries, like titties are all over the place, mm -hmm. but it's not sexualized mm -mm. because mm -hmm. it's just normal. And, and guess what? That could be like a conversation starter with your kid at that age to talk about not sexualizing women. That's body. exactly what I was thinking. It's like, it's like, ooh, I see her butt. And it'd be like, yeah, and that's her butt. And she can do whatever she wants with it. You'll knit with yeah. pink. Have a conversation nice. with your like that. child. That's why I'm not having kids. <laughs> I don't know if a conversation can prevent kids from being horny though. But how they react. Well, what we make, it. what we say society projects as what makes kids horny should start to change, right? Like the reason why pubic hair, why, well, why women started shaving all their pubic hair off is because porn showed women bare skin and they thought that's what was sexy. When in reality, the only reason why women in porn started waxing all their pussy hair off was because it was better visually for the camera. You could yeah, see more. You could see more pussy. More stimulating and enticing. So why don't we te why don't we start teaching people to not Imagine butts as the thing that gives you a rock hard boner and I understand you've already been programmed that way But what if we teach the kids like your son to jerk off the fucking takoyaki balls? I don't know. I, I think I want to jerk off like, the girls uh, <laughs> Personality traits get turned on by dope personality traits. There you traits. go. I went takoyaki balls. You went personality traits. I'm a very noble person. I think, but I liked tr things before I saw porn. As you also kid. don't know what you're conditioned by, too. Exactly. Because imagine if you grew up in those in those tribes where all the women are are Take topless out. and Big, yeah. like the balls be. in the lip, and that yeah. makes them horny. The feet binding, and that right. makes them horny. Smaller the foot, the right. more precious yeah. the woman. Yeah. There is something like evolutionarily that men see curvaceous women as more attractive because yeah. they have childbearing. Hair. Right. True. That's it's a ratio. Evolution. There's a scientific ratio of women. Thirty-six, twenty-four, thirty-six. Huh. Yeah, it could be only if she's yeah. five three. Oh, I was quoting. Oh, I just forgot you're young. Yeah. I was like, oh no. His baby got back. Oh, I know baby got back. <laughs> baby got back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I think sexuality is cultural and like it's, you can, there's a balance between the two, but also I think it's biological too, where men just are attracted without any, you know, pre like understanding of what it's supposed to be. Just, I remember as a kid staring at women, like grown women, like, I don't know why, I don't know what's going on, but I just couldn't stop staring at them. It's because you were breastfed. 
<laughs> well, women are beautiful. Yeah, and it's. it's I, yeah. I couldn't stop staring at women. Yeah, same. Oh, see, I wasn't that's... sexually attracted to them, but I was like, I want to be her. She's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. second grade teacher, Miss Pentagrass, I was like, God damn, she's a great that name. Sounds like a, it's like a character. character. She's so pretty. And I'm but there's like, also oh. a difference between seeing your neighbor's Ferrari and going, I'm going to steal that shit. Yeah. So I think, like. And I think guys, I mean, the sec. I think the way that we're, like, looking at sex is different, too. The way that guys and girls develop separately. Because mm -hmm. just the experience like is completely it just sounds different like the stuff like when we see women as kids like You can tell that there's someone that's like super duper hot and she's like not even the same age But you're like reverse molester <laughs> Like you're like jailbait, right? You're just like oh my god. It's the mrs. Robinson. It's Stacy's mom, it's like, the yeah, mom, not the milf. It's like and you don't even know what to do with her yeah. But you're just like what the fuck? It's crazy. It's and a wish fulfillment get, thing too. Yeah. Like you are young and you hope to one day have that. And if you can somehow get it before you're supposed to have it, you're the fucking man. Yeah. And I wouldn't know what to do. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Just fill up her boobies for like two hours and shit? Like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Never even saw porn before. Yeah. 